Ahmadinejad is, is causing great damage to Iran. In fact, he's causing so much damage that there's a joke in Israeli intelligence saying that Ahmadinejad is the best mole that Mossad has ever had in Iran. That, in fact, his name is Yitzhak. He is a Jew, a Farsi Jew from Tel Aviv, and he was put there as a favor for the Israeli foreign ministry. Because, really, he's the, 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 big, the, the best dream any Israeli diplomat could get. He is defamating Iran every day. Israeli intelligence have reports about meetings that Ahmadinejad had with Ali Larijani, who was the uh, Iranian envoy to discuss the nuclear issues with the diplomatic uh, community, with Europeans, and basically try to say, we are not building a bomb. This is a, a peaceful nuclear project for energy, and we are a peace-loving country. And he came to Ahmadinejad and said, shut the fuck up. Please shut up. You are destroying everything that I'm trying to do because I, while I'm trying to say that we are not going to attack anyone, especially not Israel, you are saying that Israel should be taken off the face of the earth and you deny the Holocaust, which is like the most sensitive point that Ahmadinejad could ever touch. I'm afraid of Ahmadinejad, a, a person who claims to have direct interface with God, a person who is positive that he saw an aura every time that he addresses the UN General Assembly. And not just that, he is positive that everybody in the audience saw the same aura. Makes me tick. I am afraid of, the, of such person. Yet he is not yet, uh, the, the one in charge in, in Iran. The, uh, the number one in Iranian hierarchy is, the, is Ali Khamenei, the supreme leader. Who is in charge of what? How does this mechanism work? I don't know, and I don't think that anyone knows. It is very different from Iraq of Saddam Hussein, where practically everything was happening between his left and right ear. Iran uh, would compete with the complexity of, of its political system, uh, I think only with Pakistan. And Iran is very hard to understand. Nobody really understands what happens there. But at the end of the day, this regime continues to rule has no alternative, no competition, not a, a, a likely coming change regime. Uh, and I would say that Ahmadinejad, what worries me about Ahmadinejad is not the fact that there's someone calls Ahmadinejad that says these things, but the fact that he's allowed to say it. Ahmadinejad represents a big faction of the revolution. He has his ayatollah called Ayatollah Natek Yazdi from Qom, which believes that the Mahdi, the Messiah, uh, should come, but only a very big Armageddon war, which means that it's going to be much worse be before it's going to be better. And the main parts, chunks of the Iranian bureaucracy and revolutionary guard who supports him, which basically suggests that the Iranian regime is going to a most extreme line. <laughs>